what's up everybody in this video i will explain how you can create a finance agent to answer various questions about any stock ticker we will use famous llm app building framework langchain for coding our agent the finance agent can answer various questions about any stock like their address industry important officers last close price total debt total revenue p ratio margins institutional holders etc we will define various tools to retrieve the latest details about stock and then use llm to generate arguments for those tools to call them an agent is llm plus tools which will use llm to create arguments for tools based on user query call tools to get latest details and then develop the final response based on tool response we will use open source llm llama 3 available through grok api for this tutorial so without further ado let's get started with the coding part all right so i have kept the total code for this uh, tutorial in jupyter notebook and i will include link to this jupyter notebook in the description so you can download and follow along at the beginning of the notebook first of all i have highlighted important sections so first of all we will define llm which will be the llama 3 7 billion version then we will define various finance tools so this will be various function which will use a yahoo finance library to retrieve the latest data about the particular stock ticker and then we will create a finance agent which will consist of llm plus tools and it will call these tools to retrieve the latest data then i have summarized the capabilities of our finance agent so the agent can retrieve the company basic information of the stock like uh, address industry sector business summary who are the top officers at the company and the stock financials like uh, market cap current price of the stock ebi tda total debt revenue debt to equity ratio pe ratio margins cash flows and so on stock dividend and earning dates are also available so i have created a tool which will retrieve these dates the last stock dividend dates and last earnings dates apart from that the top mutual fund holders and their contribution so what amount of stocks they own what percentage of stocks and the same is available for institutional holders so for institutional holders top institutional holders information is available stock splits history is also available and the stock ratings upgrade and downgrades by various companies are also available so the companies which has recently upgraded the rating of stock or downgraded those information will be available as well and at the last there is a tool to retrieve the latest articles about the particular stock ticker so these are the summary of uh, capabilities of our finance agent so first of all I have loaded the environment variables using .env Python module. So I have kept uh, .env file in the current directory where I have kept the Grok API which I have loaded over here, and we will access uh, Llama 3 open source model through Grok. So Grok provides open source model for free, and then I have imported Yahoo Finance. So Yahoo Finance is a library which we will use to retrieve the information about particular stock ticker. so in the first section we will load our llm so as i said we will use uh, grok to access llm so you need to log in to console.grok.com and create the api and that api key will be loaded over here currently there are four models available through grok as of recording of this video so llama 3 8 billion and 70 billion or uh, gamma 7 billion and mixtral 8x7b so this four models are available now this models are available for free so that's why there is a rate limit so as you can see there is a 30 request per minute of a rate limit which is uh, from grok and in order to use grok through langchain you will need to install this module pip install langchain grok uh, in order to use the grok through langchain so it's a supporting module so first of all from langchain grok i have imported chat grok and then we can call create an instance of chat grok by giving the api key which is our grok api key and the model which is llama 38b this one and this will create an instance of chat grok and then we can invoke this llm by calling the invoke method on it 
and there we can give whatever query we want to give and the response of uh, invoking this method will be the ai message so it's a response from ai model and the content uh, attribute of that uh, particular object will have the response that hello i'm just a language models i don't have feelings or emotions so th that's the response from our llama 3 models next let me explain you the list of tools so in this section i have defined various finance tools which will be called by the language model our finance agent to retrieve the latest details about uh, particular stock tickers and there are different uh, tools or different functions for retrieving different kinds of information now in order to convert any function to a tool you simply need to decorate the function with at the rate tool so there are two different ways to create a tool through langchain so you can import from langchain and underscore core dot tools you can import tool which is a decorator so that's the one way and the another is the structure tool so structure tool is a class and there is a method over there name from function and you can call this method with the input function and it will create a structure tool from it so whichever is the way you are comfortable you can use so in this video i have used at the red tool decorator and the first tool is the company information so it's a function and uh, it accepts ticker and ticker should be string so for apple it can be aapl for microsoft it can be msft so ticker we need to provide over here and in order to create a tool we need to follow proper format in order to give the proper information to llm so we need to specify the data type of input arguments and we need to specify data type of uh, whatever is returned from that uh, tool as well then we need to include document string as well and this document string should be detailed and it should provide proper information that what is the use of this tool so if you provide a uh, detailed and uh, proper information then the llm will be properly able to use the tool so over here this company information tool is used to retrieve the company information like uh, address industry sector company officers business summary market cap current price total debt and so on so for that first of all we will get the ticker through the method call and first we will create an instance of ticker from yahoo finance library which is a ticker object and that ticker object has a method name get info and this uh, get info method returns a large dictionary detailed dictionary which has all this information like address industry whatever is mentioned over there and that dictionary will be returned from this tool so whenever this tool will be called this dictionary will be returned and from that dictionary the llm will retrieve the information that is asked in the query if user has asked uh, address then it will retrieve from that uh, dictionary whatever total revenue whatever is asked it will be retrieved from that dictionary so that's our first tool and there are many other tools like that and for all the tools i have followed the same format the input is the ticker and output is a dictionary and from that dictionary the llm will retrieve the information so the next tool is last dividend and earnings date so this tool can be used to retrieve the last dividend and earnings release dates but there is no information about histor historical dividend yields the last dividend yield information is available through company information so again i need to create a ticker object so all our functions or tools will be creating this ticker object based on input ticker and then there is a method over there on ticker object named get calendar and this returns a dictionary where the last dividend and earnings dates are available next two methods are about the top mutual fund holders and top institutional holders so both takes as input tickers and it can be used to retrieve the percentage of share stock count and value of holdings of the mutual fund holders so to retrieve the mutual fund holders the method name on the ticker object is a mutual fund holders now the response of this is a pandas data frame so i have converted it to dictionary using two dict method which is a a method on a pandas data frame and orient is set to record so it will return a list of dictionaries and each individual dictionary represents so one row of that particular data frame same goes for institutional ticker the name of the method is uh, guest institutional holders 
and again it will be a pandas data frame so we need to call to dictonet to convert it to dictionaries next tool is used to retrieve the stock grade upgrades and downgrades so whenever the rating is changed from underperform to overperform or uh, from buy to sell sell to buy any kind of rating change is done so various companies uh, do provide ratings to various stocks and those uh, details are also available through ticker object and the method name is get upgrades downgrades so response is a data frame again it's a long data frame and it has a ratings data of the last few years for many companies but in for keeping this uh, tutorial simple i have filtered this uh, particular data frame to keep the values which is for current year so whenever you call this uh, method whatever will be current year for that year's ratings will be retrieved and from that ratings whenever the action is up or down so whenever a rating is upgraded or downgraded only those ratings we are keeping if the rating is not changed the rating is kept same by the company that's providing rating then we don't include that in the list so the final data frame will have only companies for which has uh, changed the rating of the company for the current year again that's the data frame and we are converting it to the python dictionary next uh, tool is a stock splits history so this tool has a company's historical stock splits data and the name of the method is get splits so it will return a pandas data frame which will have information about all the historical split stock splits of the particular stock ticker again we are converting that uh, data frame to dictionary and the last two tool is stock news so ticker object has a method name get news and this get news will return a list of dictionaries where each individual dictionary represent the articles latest article discussing about the particular stock ticker and all this link will be yahoo finance links because we are using yahoo finance library to create these tools so these are the list of tools that we will use for our agent so next let's go ahead and create agent so now that we have defined llm and tools the process of creating agent is pretty simple so in this cell i have defined the agent our finance agent so first of all we need to have a few imports first is agent executor which will be used to execute queries of the agent and this method create tool calling agent this function create tool calling agent will be used to create agent and then from prompts i have imported chat prompt template to define the format of our prompt and message placeholder will be used inside the prompt template so first of all i have declared uh, tools so these are list of tools next i have declared a prompt template our prompt so we can do that by calling from messages so method on prompt template so there will be a list of messages so first is a system message saying that you are a helpful assistant try to answer user queries using available tools next is a placage, uh, messages placeholder with uh, variable name messages so over here we will provide a list of messages so query that we ask to our finance agent will go over here in place of messages and next is a message placeholder for agent scratch pair so this is a place where uh, our agent based on user query will decide that which tool to call it will call that tool retrieve the response and based on the response of the tool it will generate the final response so all that thing will happen inside of this agent scratch pad the calling of the tool and retrieving response so again same as usual i have declared our uh, llm llama 3 and then i have called this uh, function create tool calling agent there we need to provide the llm which is llama 3 then we need to provide list of tools and then we need to provide a prompt of our agent and this is the our agent finance agent now in order to invoke this agent we need to use agent executor and in agent executor we need to provide the list of uh, finance agent list of tools and i have set verbose to true so by default verbose is false but this will help us with uh, debugging for this tutorial i have set it to true so when that is set to true uh, whatever the agent is doing inside which uh, 
functions it is which tools it is calling what is the input arguments for these tools that will be displayed if you set verbose to false then those information would be displayed so this can be useful for debugging purposes so now that we have declared our agent finance agent let's go ahead and test it through few query, few queries right so we can call our finance agent by calling the invoke method on it and over there uh, we need to provide the messages which we declared inside over here in this prompt so we will provide a dictionary with key as a messages and then list of messages now in our case there will be only one message human message which will contain whatever query we want to ask so the first query is that what is the address of microsoft and over here as you can see the debugging messages are printed and it's printing that entering new ex agent executor chain and invoking this uh, tool company information with ticker msft so msft is the ticker of the microsoft which llm was able to find out so this information might have been included during the training data that's why it knows that the microsoft has this ticker msft so it called company information tool with this uh, dictionary ticker set to msft and this is the response so this is a big dictionary so if you call the, the tool outside of llm if you call the tool with the argument msft then you will receive this dictionary so our agent did call it and it received this dictionary and this dictionary has a lot of information but the first information over here is about address so those information is available other than that also a lot of information is available in this dictionary and it is able to find out that the address of microsoft is one microsoft way redmond united states and the response i have maintained in response object it's a dictionary and from that there is a key name output where the response is available and that's the response so from that dictionary you know, response that it got from tool it was able to properly identify that uh, this is the information which says about the address of the microsoft yeah so it was properly able to identify the address now you can set the verbose to false later on as well if you don't want to see uh, the debugging messages but i have kept it on for this tutorial to show you guys which tools are getting called so next i have called finance agent with the query that what is the last price of microsoft so for that it again went to chain and this time it called this tool last dividend and earnings date so i think that it got confused about this last keyword on uh, the last string and called this now this tool does not have a last close price so first it called it and then it would have understood that uh, there is no close price available in the response of this tool so it again called the company information tool with ticker msft and this dictionary this detailed dictionary company information do has uh, information about the last close price so then from that tool call it was able to retrieve the last close price of the microsoft and yeah over here is the response so in the next query i have asked it that uh, what is the dividend yield of uh, microsoft and that information is available through company information dictionary again it was able to find out msft as a ticker and this dictionary it has information so after calling that uh, tool it again called last dividend and earnings date which was not needed because this uh, tool only provides date but company information has last dividend date but it was able to find out that this is the dividend yield from the tool calls and we are able to see these tool calls because we have kept uh, the verbose to true next i have asked query that what are ebi tda total debt total revenue and debt to equity for nvidia stock so now we are asking about nvidia and not microsoft and again it called company information which is all this information and this time the ticker is nvda which is the correct ticker for nvda and this is the dictionary and from that dictionary it has retrieved this response that this is the ebi tda total debt total revenue and debt to equity ratio for nvidia stock and you can print the response as well now it included a warning that please note that these values are based on the provided data and may not reflect the current up-to-date information now it should not have included this line that may not reflect current or up-to-date information 
because we are retrieving the current and updated in, up to date information through our tool call but yeah this can be improved if you provide a proper prompt to the tool a proper prompt to the agent executor and next i have asked it that uh, summarize the key people at apple so who are the key people at apple and again it called company information tool where the information about the key people is available so who are the ceo ceos and all those people so again it uh, generated a dictionary with ticker and the ticker is apl which is the ticker of apple again it retrieved this dictionary which has information about the chief operating officer and all those oh, people and then it is uh, summarized over here based on the tool call output here is the summary of key people that tim cook is ceo luca is cfo and ceo is jeffrey and so on all those important peoples yeah so then you can retrieve the output so here is the output and yeah it's the latest one and next query is uh, so next i have asked like uh, what is the what is last dividend date of apple stock so what was the last dividend date now for this one it will need to call this tool last dividend and earnings date and com not company information because company information has dividend yield but it does not have properly formatted last dividend date so that's why i had created this tool last dividend and earnings date and again it called it with aapl argument so it called it two times and then it was properly able to find out that the last dividend date for apple stock was may 15 2024 yeah and that's the correct one i did check it online yeah so i was checking that whether our tool is bluffing or not but uh, it's correct and next i have asked like uh, what is the two top uh, mutual fund holders of microsoft stock and for that it was properly able to identify that it need to call this tool summary of mutual fund holders with argument ticker set to msft and here is the response so it's a list of dictionaries where the holders like who are the holders their percentage their shares and the value of their shares is available yeah so it called it and then it properly formatted that information that vanguard total stock market index fund is this percentage of share this many shares and the value of those shares is this next is vanguard 500 index fund and so on so top five funds which holds uh, microsoft stock are over here so if you want to know about top mutual fund holders of the microsoft or any other ticker you can try that as well if you want to know who are the top institutional holders then you can provide that through query as well the top institutional holders of microsoft stock and this time it properly called another tool named summary of institutional holders and over here it found out the msft ticker and this is the response from that tool and based on the response it was able to generate the response that vanguard group inc is the 8.79 percent of shares it holds about microsoft these are the shares count and this is the value then blackrock state street fmr and price associates so these are the top five top five institutional holders of microsoft stock next uh, if you want to know that uh, which firms uh, recently change the ratings of particular stocks so over here i have asked which firms recently changed the grade of apple stock and i also asked it that return the rating changes yeah, if i don't ask uh, this query that return rating changes then it will only return the name of the companies which uh, change the rating but what ratings were changed that information won't be included so that's why i included this string and it was able to properly call this tool stock grade upgrades and downgrades with ticker aapl so this is the response from that tool where the information about ratings and these are the forms that recently changed the grade of apple stock so rosenblatt change rating from neutral to buy estate group change it from hold to buy davidson change neutral to buy underperform to market perform so these are the changes in rating like redburn atlantic change the rating they downgraded instead of upgrading from buy to neutral piper sandler also downgraded the rating from overweight to neutral 
so whatever upgrade and downgrades happened in the rating for the current year for the selected stock ticker will be displayed and next uh, last query is for this tutorial so over here i have asked it that uh, can you share the latest news articles links discussing apple stock so now it knows that it needs to call this tool stock news with ticker aapl and this is the response from the tool it's a list of dictionaries and each individual dictionary represents the individual article news article and from that uh, dictionary it was able to identify the articles so next i have displayed the response so here are the latest news articles discussing apple stock so the title of the particular article along with the publisher and what is the link that link is also included so if you want to read the latest article about a particular stock ticker then you can ask the llm about it it will retrieve the links of all those latest articles and then you can go ahead and read them all right so that concludes our tutorial on building a finance agent using lang chain i did cover some tools which i created through yahoo finance but there are many other functionalities available through yahoo finance so you can go ahead and create many more tools and extend this finance agent further so it can provide even more detailed information about particular stock ticker so yeah that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions or doubts then please feel free to let me know in the comment section see you next time